This is a national alert. All citizens are required to remain vigilant due to the escape of an extremely dangerous entity. The government mandates the following preventative actions. Failure to comply with, which may result in imprisonment or internment due to imminent biological risk. Cancel any public funerals. Remove all mannequins from commercial stores. Burn any photograph that includes human beings. Remove all mirrors from homes, buildings, hospitals, commercial establishments, etc. Every individual must carry a visible document of identification at all times, both outside and inside the home. Dr. Andrew Becker. We have been monitoring an entity for the past two months. We have enclosed it in a four meter thick concrete container and have been monitoring it with an internal camera. The entity appears to be motionless, although we have found it in two different positions when not under observation. This is extremely bizarre, but despite lacking facial features, it seems to interact with the camera. Camera 1, 5.34 AM. The following photographs were taken using different spectrums of light and revealed a strange face after a transformation that lasted almost 106 hours. The entity always remained silent. However, some laboratory workers reported feeling that the figure spoke directly to them through the screen. HR and SD. The two permanent camera monitors had to be hospitalized in critical condition after three weeks. A strange infection and enormous tumors rapidly spread across their faces. HR. SD. The discovery of the real. Jacques Lacan, renowned French psychiatrist, conducted an intense lifelong inquiry into the ontology, linguistics, and psyche of the truths of reality. His most famous theory, that of the three registers, proposes a radical dimension of existence that we can only access indirectly through a traumatic encounter with the impossible. The real is a structure elusive to the mind, where existence is shaped by parameters that defy understanding. Man in his infinite interest to go beyond himself, could accidentally create a catastrophic breach if he attempted to access the real. In the real, there is no identity, no figures, only horror and uncertainty. Video 2. Research. This is an instructional video intended for properly qualified personnel in the treatment, study, safeguarding, and storage of entities and phenomena, the public scientific disclosure of which would constitute a tearing apart of the fabric of civilization. Tape 1. The Everyday Reality. Everyday reality refers to the objective and tangible existence of the world around us, independent of our individual perceptions and beliefs. It encompasses all events, objects, phenomena, and processes that make up the universe. Reality is characterized by its capacity to directly influence and impact our lives, and it can be studied and understood through different disciplines such as physics, biology, psychology, and philosophy. While our interpretations and understandings of reality may vary, reality itself is considered a fundamental and objective concept that exists beyond our individual perceptions. Take two, what is the real? In Jacques Lacan's theory, the concept of the real does not simply refer to the physical or the material but rather to a dimension of experience that is fundamentally inaccessible and disturbing. It cannot be fully captured by language or the mental representations we construct to make sense of the world. For the French author, everyday reality is mediated by language and symbols that we use to represent it. The symbolic mediation creates a subjective experience of reality that is shaped by our beliefs, prejudices, and individual fantasies. The real, on the other hand, intrudes into our lives in ways that confront us with the lack of correspondence between our representations and direct experience. It is that which sustains the apparatus of existence itself. The real manifests through the inexplicable, the incomprehensible, the dramatic, and it is a disruptive force that disturbs our illusion of control and mastery over the world. Tape 3. What, then, exists in the real? To understand what exists in this realm called the real, it is necessary to engage in the highest exercise of mental abstraction. While the real can be perceived through the senses and manifested in concrete objects, this is merely an imaginary way of being processed by the human mind, derived from what can be seen as an image. Due to the physical limitations of the organism and the tendency of the survival of subjective psychic experience, 
These supposed entities fracture existence and create an unassimilable gap after traumatic experiences or failures in the known reality. Warning, phenomena of the real may be collectively perceived as everyday objects. However, despite certain reports, although many people would see the exact same thing, certain digital devices would interpret them differently, and some individuals would apprehend them with forms and characteristics that differ from those commonly described. Personnel are advised to carry a unique identification document at all times. The real could even be interpreted by the mind in the form of a friend, a child, or any other person. Although the identification card is not foolproof, it has a reported effectiveness rate of 28%, compared to other methods that have failed outright. It appears that the real primarily manifest in the human mind through organic entities. Rarely have experiences with inanimate objects been reported. However, the latter have exhibited the most volatile, dangerous, and risky characteristics for maintaining the stability of reality. Tape 4, The Real Testing. This is a test that should only be undergone by authorized and properly trained personnel. Possession of this material outside scientific military supervision risks federal prosecution. Practice personnel will be shown a photograph of an entity phenomena which has been concluded with 89% certainty to be a real. The following image was captured after a fire and explosion at a plastics factory in Ohio in 1978. There were 45 fatalities, and 10 victims received irreversible damages from severe injuries. Personnel are advised to observe the material under the following conditions. Failure to comply will result in capture and permanent quarantine at the study center facilities. Closed doors and windows. Do not observe it between 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. A 70% occurrence of unpredictable effects has been reported during this time range. Do not be in the company of another human as the real could take the form of your counterpart and transform them into a doppelganger. If you have been diagnosed with any psychotic disorder such as schizophrenia, schizoform disorder, major depression, or any type of personality disorder, the probability of experiencing a panic crisis or paranoid crisis has been reported at 45% compared to other mental disorders. If you cannot see anything, do not take your eyes off the image. The real could be in your visual apparatus, affecting an object of physical phenomena in your surrounding. When the image is removed, Close your eyes for 40 seconds. Observe with the utmost care what would be reflected in the mirror. Results. 35% of people claim to have seen nothing. 21% of people claim to have seen a chair like this. 18% of people claim to have heard a voice inside their head. 10% of people claim to have seen nothing behind the mirror, but they felt tremendous terror. 9% of people claim to have seen something like this drawing. 7% of people were never seen again. Video 3. First Contact. Tape 5. The White Mannequin, the most dangerous entity reported to date. 1989, Dr. Alexander Simard, head of the Department of Anomalous Reality Investigation Cases, presenting case 0014-Z-21 regarding the White Mannequin. It happened in Toronto in 1988. The workers of the renowned clothing store called Salvatore Boutique in the city's downtown area reported that for several weeks, they found a series of mannequins in different positions inside the store. The security cameras captured this, showing the figures in places where they shouldn't be. A few weeks after these curious occurrences, the death of three individuals were reported, two female employees of the clothing store and a passerby. This all happened on the night of June 10th. The footage of their deaths was captured by internal and external security cameras. Apparently, a figure with strange arms suddenly emerged from some of the store's mannequins and attacked two of the women inside. A man who happened to be passing by also suffered a fatal end. The police prohibited the disclosure of the audiovisual material. Three weeks later, after an apparent calm in the activity of the mannequins, this image forced the permanent closure of the clothing store. Half a year later, the American Security Department requested the intervention of the Canadian government for the study of these mannequins. The team from the Department of Anomalous Reality Investigation Cases selected two of their top doctors to initiate the study of these strange creatures. They were kept in a laboratory, one kilometer deep, 
in a specially contained room for observation purposes for several days. The examination of this mannequin revealed a series of issues, as despite the images showing the presence of muscular material inside of it, as well as relatively human-like nervous tissue, some members of the medical team were emphatic in stating that they never saw what the images recorded. They claimed to have only examined an ordinary mannequin made of wood and metal that they disassembled and found nothing unusual. This event led the department to conduct an exhaustive study of the nature of this entity, as well as others that exhibited similar characteristics. Take 6. The Interview We will present excerpts from a transcription of interviews conducted with three prisoners sentenced to life imprisonment. Their names are Wilder Harrington, Sterling Donovan, and Peter Kazmarak. The latter was the one who provided the most relevant testimony for the investigation. Wilder Harrington. I don't know, man. I've told you, like, three, four times already? I saw that damn thing move on the table during lunchtime. What the hell do you expect me to do? I know nobody gives a damn about my life, or anybody else's in this goddamn world, but nobody wants to die like that. That thing could have attacked me. No, it wasn't just a damn chair. What the hell are you telling me? Sterling Donovan. I saw how he tried to escape. It even told me the plan. I'm not stupid enough to fall for that crap. Especially after seeing what you guys did to him in the cell with those black hooded men. No? Then who the hell else could it be? He didn't die. I saw him this morning. You think I'm a liar? What more do you need from a snick? Peter Kosmarak. There were four of us. You already knew the names. The idiot was munching on a piece of human intestine. And nobody said a damn thing. I don't know where he got it from. Don't think he killed anyone. I don't think he's one of those... what do you call him? Oh yeah, cannibals. No, he wasn't eating an apple, man. I'm telling you, he had a piece of meat in his hand. I wasn't about to start a fight over such stupidity. You guys have surveillance cameras. I know what I saw. The other idiots must have conspired to get me locked up in isolation. Holy shit! Imperceptible entities breaching into a select few human consciousnesses, murdering people either directly or through tumors, and distorting the very fabric of reality itself. What the hell did any of that mean? Let's find out! Thematically, I believe this analog horror is trying to express how human tools for measuring and explaining reality are inept. Your senses, vision, hearing, touch, taste, smell, that weird sixth one that no one knows what it is, are not based in objective reality but only your understanding of a limited facet of it. It's even possible that there is no such thing as objective reality. But whatever it might be, your dumbass human sensory organs sure as hell can't perceive it. Human brains often fill in gaps to things that they either can't or don't have the tools to comprehend or perceive. Scientists have known this for quite a long time. Fun fact, your vision has a blind spot in it. You can Google it. Yeah, your vision has a blind spot. And your brain just fills it in. You did, did you know that? Well, you do now. Ignorance is bliss, and I just stole that from you. What you didn't know, however, is the extent to which your brains have been filling things in. It isn't just colors that lie slightly outside of the range of human vision, nor sounds imperceptible to the ear. Nope. It's entire facets of the world. Not sure what that giant tentacle creature in the corner is? That's okay, because apparently your brain is just gonna label it chair! The reason that the main concept, dimension, whatever, is called the real is because these creatures don't come from a different dimension. They've always been right next to us. We could just never see them. Humans are unable to perceive true reality, so your brain just makes stuff up for you. Think about it. Let's go to the example of the wooden cube. At first, the photograph reveals it to be just a regular wooden cube. Upon an artist rendering of what a child saw, which uh, kids lie all the time, what the fuck? It looks like a box containing the gates of hell lined with pained flesh. Talk about crunchy with a creamy center. When the same cube is photographed in a library, it's not even a cube. Is nothing sacred anymore? Humans live in a constructed world so outside of objective reality that whenever they get a wind of what's really going on, it clashes with everything they know. Let's go to another example, the mannequins who all seemingly have human-like anatomy, musculature, and veins. The scientists in this documentation claim that the mannequins they saw had no anatomy to speak of, and they were just regular clothing store, unfortunately nippleless mannequins. 
These at first appeared to be regular mannequins, just out of place at the store, but were commandeered because they murdered three people just a little bit. If these were just regular mannequins, they probably wouldn't have any of these properties. My point is, these anomalies are perceived differently by many different observers, and when people observe these anomalies in their true form, it's dangerous. Now, the obvious question, would you stick your dick in them? What the hell are these creatures and objects? They seem to be entities that have part or all of their nature obscured, only by your inability to perceive it. It seems as though the objects, such as the cube, can cause horrific effects to the observers, even if they only observe media of it, like a photo. These creatures either disguise themselves as, or can spontaneously manifest into seemingly ordinary objects, humanoid shapes, or even pretend to be people themselves. As seen from the first example in First Contact, the living creatures from the real are not very friendly. When individuals can perceive them, the entities notice the fact that this person can observe them and don't exactly take kindly to it. As for their biology, what they can do or what they want, it's likely as imperceptible as their nature itself. I believe that they are left obscured on purpose, both to cultivate a little bit of good old fear of the unknown and to set up a big reveal of whatever the fuck they are. I don't believe we have enough information to determine what the real is, what these critters are, or what exactly is happening between these factors and human perception. But I'm pretty sure we haven't seen the last of these series. And maybe it'll explain that. Probably not though, it'll probably just raise more questions, but I'll be here to be confused about those too. Whatever the case is, it appears that objective reality is very different from what the majority of humans perceive. Or maybe there isn't an objective reality to begin with, and the individual's perception can perhaps literally shape the world around them. Visualization junkies are coming in their pants right now. Reality is a lot more fluid and a lot more complicated than humans originally thought, or are even capable of thinking. So what do we do about all this? Nothing. Ever hear of out of sight, out of mind? It's not like you could do anything about it anyway, so just go jerk off in your bed again, weirdo. This is all I can really gauge thus far with this information. But hey, if you can figure more out, be my guest and let me know in the comments. If you like this video and want me to come back and check out more of this fantastic analog horror series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled, or maybe you'll see reality for what it is and never be the same. That happened to me, that's why I make YouTube videos. I want to shout out Anomaly for making this great piece of media. Shout out the inner circle, love y'all. <laughs>